picking the right Cleveland suburb is not an easy task because there is so much that there is to offer in the area that is the greater Cleveland area. Today we're going to be checking out a house over in Hinkley, Ohio. Now Hinkley is getting closer to that 35 to 40 minute range as far as a commute goes to downtown Cleveland. So you are getting a little more rural when you go to this area. However, you're gonna get a lot of land for your value. And the house that we're gonna be checking out today has five bedrooms, five bathrooms, and it comes in just over 3,700 square feet. So it's big enough for your whole family. Now this property is going to be sitting on over five acres. So you are going to have a lot of privacy. And the house that's sitting on this property is a Tudor style home that is absolutely to die for. I think these houses are absolutely gorgeous. Now, if you're the outdoors type, you are going to have pretty quick access to Hinkley Reservation. And there you're gonna have a lot of hiking trails that you can go along. And there's a small lake that you can go take your kayaks out on and also fish at. Now there's a lot of opportunities to do all your hiking in this area. But if you go a little bit further east, you are going to have the Cuyahoga Valley National Park. And that's one of the best spots in the greater Cleveland area to actually go do some exploring because there are miles and miles of hiking to do and some of the greatest scenes in the country. Now there are two areas that you're probably gonna be doing all of your shopping and they're both about 10 to 15 minutes away from this house. So they're pretty even as far as the commute goes. Now the shopping options are either north on Center Road in Brunswick or south on Royalton Road in Strongsville. And you can't go wrong with either one that you choose. If you choose to go south, you're gonna have all of your highway access over by that South Park Mall area. And there's gonna be a ton of different stores to choose from. Or if you go north, you're going to have a lot of opportunities as well. Both of them have a really solid selection for grocery, restaurants, and retail shopping. Now that South Park area also has a mall, so you are going to have a little bit more as far as retail goes and some more areas to hang out if you are into that shopping scene. But the Brunswick area has some pretty solid bars and arcades to go check out as well. If you're a pretty big golfer, you're gonna have the opportunity to go over to Pine Hills Golf Club and there you're gonna be able to get all your golfing done. There's a few more options as far as golf goes in the area too, but that one's gonna be the closest. Now, if you find yourself wanting to move to the Hinkley area, feel free to reach out to me. All my contact information is down in the description. My name's Sam Oler and I'm your Cleveland area realtor. Let's hop right into the tour of this home. All right, so this is the Tudor style home that we're gonna be checking out today. And these are one of my favorite style homes. So I'm super excited to be checking this one out. It's got a great front yard and backyard, but upon entry into the home, you come into a grand staircase that leads you upstairs to a bunch of different rooms. And then off to the right from the entrance, you are going to actually have a bathroom and that's gonna be your first half bath. But here's a quick look at all of the woodwork that is on the front of the house and the massive window that leads you up to the chandelier. But this house just is absolutely gorgeous. It has a ton to offer. Now, the first floor has wood floors throughout and they're in really great condition. You've got an office or study off to the left right when you go down the two stairs from the entry. And this office has a large bay window that overlooks the front yard that is mostly taken up by a pond and then also your driveway so you can keep an eye on what's going on out front. Now in the office, you are going to have wainscoting and it is a wooden pattern and that takes up half of the wall. And then you're also going to have a window that overlooks the side. As you work further over back through the front, you are going to have your first half bath that I was talking about. And you're gonna have a black pedestal sink and a black toilet. And it's a small bathroom, so you're not gonna to need to use it for much besides just using the facilities. And it's got an updated tile in there as well. Now, as we start to work our way over into the living room area, you are going to have two entrances on either side of the staircase. But on the right side, you also are going to have a formal dining room, which we are gonna check out before we go into the living room itself. Now this hardwood floor is still flowing throughout and then you're gonna have another bay window that overlooks the driveway and a little bit of the pond, but you're gonna have a better view of the driveway from this room. Now the door is a glass door that leads you in here. So you are going to have a sight to see if anyone's coming in the house while you're in the dining room. And the hardwood floor transitions over into a carpet once you go into the living room and the living room is a pretty decent size. You've got the opportunity to have a few different setups along with those massive windows and then a double-sided fireplace that transitions over into the other room. And on that fireplace, you're going to have a pretty timeless style where it's a natural rock. And on the other side of that fireplace, you're going to have a second sitting room. You can use it as an office or really another just sitting area would probably be best in all reality but this overlooks the backyard where you have your above ground pool and a massive amount of space to 
do pretty much anything you want. That is pretty much a full-size football field right there. So you can get a volleyball court out there, some soccer goals, and really just play any sport you'd ever want out there. Now off to the right of the house, you are going to have your kitchen. You've got a granite countertop with some wooden style cabinets, and there are no cabinet pulls on these ones, so you have the opportunity to really customize it and get them a little bit more modern feeling in here. And then off to the left, you're gonna have a little sitting nook to where you can get a chair in there to do whatever kind of paperwork you want or just use it as a different charging station or maybe a coffee station. Now there is going to be another attached dining area in here. And then through that, you are going to have your laundry room and there is another ice chest in here just in case you need some extra storage for your freezer. Now this room has a lot of extra storage. You can turn around and have a counter space to do your laundry on. And then it also has a bunch of cabinetry to hide everything. Now around the corner, you are going to have your first full bathroom. It is a little bit outdated. However, it is all in great condition. So you're not gonna have to worry about anything going wrong in there besides maybe some caulk. And then there is another staircase that leads upstairs. However, we are going to go up the regular staircase first. Now, before we go upstairs, we want to check out the basement just because it is off of the kitchen and it has the closest access. And down at the bottom of the stairs, you are going to have a room and this room is a full bathroom. So you are going to not have to worry about going upstairs if you need to use the restroom. And this room is pretty elegant. You've got a raised tub and then a walk-in shower with two shower heads and you're going to have the toilet around the corner and the vanity is going to be a granite countertop with a wood style vanity that matches the rest of the cabinetry in the home and you're gonna have a mirror above it so you have a ton of different storage in here and it's just a really cool setup so it's a really nice elegant feeling bathroom i'm glad that this is down here and it's not the regular like pretty cheap looking bathroom and flowing throughout the basement you are going to have a laminate floor that is a wood grain and it's more of a cherry color but you have a big open space but before we go out there I want to check out the mechanical room because I want to see if there's any issues down here now first look in the mechanical room I don't see any yellowing on the wall so you're not seeing any water issues but you are going to have a high efficiency furnace and make that two of them. You are going to not have to do a whole lot of maintenance to these besides clean it every year. They are pretty strong systems themselves and then you're gonna have a vacuum and then your water softener system as well. Now, as we start to work our way out of here, I'm just kind of looking at the electrical, seeing if that had any changes throughout and I'm not really seeing anything too crazy that wasn't built with the house and in this area where it's the finished area it's really open you have a lot of different opportunities to finish it and kind of make it your own they have a poker table down here and then a bar as well along with that pool table at the front of the room now i like the opportunity to have the second kitchen down here so that way you don't have to haul all of your food down here but there is another room off of that poker area and you're going to have your electric box and your hot water tank and it looks like the hot water tanks from 2005 and the electric is all part of the house from when it was built. I don't think it was upgraded or anything. Now, as we start to work our way towards the back of the basement, you are going to have another fireplace that shows on all three sides of the exposed mantle. So that is pretty convenient as well. And you can get some pretty big fires going in there. This is not a small fireplace by any means. And then you are going to have doors that open up to your side patio and this is the side of the house it is closer to the front but you have access to get over to the backyard as well so this basement is pretty spacious and you have a lot of opportunity as far as different options to finish it and really make it your own and all these doors off to the right are just some extra storage but we are going to start ranking our way back up to the second floor now now i really love this hinkley area it is one of those cities to where you get a lot of extra privacy and then once you get a taste of it you never want to go back to the suburban neighborhoods and i can definitely see myself living in something like this further down the road not anytime soon i'm trying to enjoy where i'm at right now 
Now, as we start to work our way up to the second floor, you are going to have a wooden banister that overlooks the living room and the front entrance. And off to the left, you are going to have a bedroom. And this bedroom is on the front of the house. So you are going to have a view of the pond that is up there. And the second floor is carpeted throughout. And it's all a pretty decent size. This is going to be your master bedroom. And it's got a massive ceiling over here along with the ensuite. Now in the bathroom, you are going to have a double sink on that vanity, which gives you two mirrors. I would probably put a big mirror in just so that it feels a little bit bigger in there. And then you're gonna have a detached tub from the shower and then a vaulted ceiling with a skylight, letting a ton of natural light in. And in here is a closet with a bunch of built-in storage. So that is a nice addition. And then you're gonna have your toilet and a bidet. Now I don't see bidets too often, but they are handy to have. And then off to the right of the bidet, you're going to have your shower. Now, as we're walking through the second floor, we're going to have a few more bedrooms to check out, but we have this really cool view of the living room. So I wanted to kind of emphasize the windows over here. Like they're absolutely massive. So it is going to give you some great scenery, especially in the winter. I bet you that backyard is absolutely gorgeous when it snows. Now, as far as the front of the house, you are going to have a massive window as well. Now, down the other side of the hallway, you are going to have your bedrooms and the bedrooms are pretty decent size. Still the carpet flowing throughout original woodwork and decent paint. And then off to the right, you are going to have another bedroom about the same size, a little bit less storage as far as the closet goes. And you're gonna have your second staircase that leads up and your fourth bedroom on the second floor. And then in the hallway there, you're gonna have a little bit of closet space and then it looks like they redid this bathroom and you've got your double vanity and a large mirror like I was talking about earlier. That is just the new style. And then you're going to have a gray tub and I think that is original to the house. I don't think that was updated but if it works, you're not going to have to worry. Same with the great toilet. So this Hinkley area is one of those really nice areas. You can get a USDA loan with it, which is really nice. You don't have to do a down payment with the USDA loans. So those are super convenient to have, but you have to be in a rural area if you are going to use it. And that is a little bit tricky sometimes, and it doesn't totally appeal to a lot of people. So if you're willing to be in a rural area, this is a prime example of what you can get, especially for the price. It is a ton of acreage and you are going to have a lot of privacy, as I said earlier. If you made it this far into the video, I want to say thank you. It shows that you might be looking to move to Hinkley. And if you are, I invite you to reach out to me. All of my contact information is down in the description. If you find yourself down in the description, checking out my social media, make sure you click that like button before you go, because it's going to help me out a ton. But with all that being said, I'm going to leave the video there. I'll catch you in the next home tour.